Hey, what's going on guys? Hope all is well. I want to bring you a quick walk around of the 2020 Audi S4. Got a facelift this year, so a couple things changed. This one is a quantum gray with a magma red interior. Black optic gives you that nice blacked out front end, the honeycomb grill. And then the 19 inch black optic wheels, of course. This one is missing the sport package, so the brake calibers are black as opposed to the red. Give you a good look of the rear end here. So, updated tail lights. Now you have the chrome running through the tail light, even though it's a black optic. Kind of wish that they carried through the black middle piece through the uh, tail lights, but it's all right. I'm sure a lot of people are going to tint that. Quad exhaust tips. I love this color. It's a hot color right now with all the brands. Open up the trunk here for you. Nice deep trunk. Seats fold down 40, 20, 40. I like this. Little grocery hook. Spare tire underneath. This is kind of a cool feature too. So this little hook goes here. Clip onto there. So when you're getting the spare tire out or working back here, it's out of your way. Kind of cool. All right. Trunk is manual. Take a quick look at the window sticker here. So 2020 S4, quantum gray with that magma red interior, premium plus, and black optic, gives you those nice 19 inch wheels, and then a summer tire as well. And then fine Napa leather seats with the carbon inlays. This one's 56.3. Um, something to note here is that if you want the navigation, you do have to opt for that as a package now. So with the 2019s, if you got a premium plus, you'd have navigation by default. Um, so, something to keep in mind if you're ordering one. Gas mileage here, 20 city, 27 highway, and then 23 average. And then the parts content breakdown. I know a lot of people ask me about that. The Germany, 50%. Hungary, 22. Final assembly in Germany. We'll hop on in here on the inside. Give you a good look at the seats. That magma red interior with the S embossing there. Nice contrasting diamond stitch seats. Thigh extension here. But nice heavily bolstered. Not too aggressive, but I feel like it suits the vehicle. A nice shot of the carbon inlays there. Memory seating, of course. Nice Alcantara inserts here on the doors. Red stitching. Nice metal accents on the buttons. Really nice interior. What you'd expect from Audi. This one is missing the optional Bang & Olufsen sound system, but that is available. So we have a little updated setup here. Uh, I believe they call this like the hockey stick uh, setup. Kind of looks like a hockey stick. So 
So this one is missing the navigation, like I said. So you would have a little navigation tab here, and then your kind of standard layout uh, with the map in the middle. Uh, media, and then all of these, you have the, the view button here so you can change the layout. Vehicle settings here, date and time at the top, if you want kind of a minimalistic setup here. And you're also missing uh, the fuel on the sides. It used to be kind of in here, uh, fuel and temperature, but now it's all in the virtual cockpit. So your volume here, push down to mute, next and previous. Voice command, it comes standard with Apple CarPlay. So although it doesn't have navigation, it's, it's totally livable because you can use your Google Maps or your Waze from your phone. Uh, that'll pop up here on the new touch screen. So similar layout to the old screen, just with no dial down below. Now it's just a little cubby. Uh, so very similar to the previous generation, just touch. Get 90 days of Sirius XM as a trial, and then you can transfer over your service uh, after that. You can press and hold to move any of these around. If you kind of use some apps a little more than others, I want them front and center. It gives you the freedom to do that. It's kind of nice. You have your media, telephone, navigation will say not supported. Navigation license was not purchased. Uh, down below that, you have climate controls. So temperature on the side here, and then these are just toggle switches. And then all touch sensitive as well. You'll see they can highlight as you drag your finger over. Heated seats are standard. Uh, defroster here, circulation, where you want the air. Pretty intuitive, nothing crazy going on there. Your drive select. So your different drive modes. So comforts like Audi's Eco Mode. Automatic will switch for you depending on how you're driving. Dynamic is Audi's Sport Mode. And then individual. You can kind of go in and tailor a couple of the settings yourself. Drive, steering, engine sound. That's nice. So your drive select, your auto start stop. If you don't like that feature, you can turn that off. I know a lot of people ask me that. Uh, traction control off. Parking sensors, it'll automatically come up when you go in reverse. But let's say you want to see the front sensors when you're uh, pulling close to a wall or something, you can bring that up manually. And then last button down here, you can turn off the screen. If you want to clean it or let's say it's distracting at night, they give you that freedom. Down below, you have your 12 volt and then USB and your nice start stop button there. I like the red accents. So you have that carbon fiber trim kind of going all along the dash. Your quattro embossing. And then down here as well, all carbon. Generous size cup holders for Audi for sure. And now you don't have the touchpad here, you have a nice little cubby. Three keys or phone. Nothing too crazy going on there. And the shifter, I love his texture on it. A nice S embossing here. I feel like it's coming up orange a little bit right here, but this is just red, just like the interior. Um, but yeah, so all the way down for drive, all the way up for reverse, and then park. It's just a button there. And you can move it over to go into manual as well. Your electronic parking brake here. A little slot for your key. Volume button. Push down to mute. And then in the center console here, you have a wireless charging mat and then a little bit of cargo area there. So this goes down and you can slide it forward or back. There you go. And then different levels you can stop at. So wherever you feel comfortable resting your elbow. Look at the passenger side door, that seat again. Super nice interior. I mean, Audi always does a stunning job on all their models, but especially the S's, you get a nice little sporty touch. All right, I'll hop out here. 
show you guys the back seat. So red interior obviously carries over. This little center console part comes down and then cup holders come out of there. And then you have a nice little cubby in here. It's not really deep at all, but might manage to get something in there. <laughs> Primary controls in the rear with two USB ports and a 12 volt. Generous amount of USB ports. I know that's usually a big concern here for 2020. If the car has enough USB ports. Be a nice look here, and that should wrap it up. Um, so, if you guys have any questions, just let me know. Feel free to comment down below. Uh, if you guys want to see anything in particular, please let me know. Uh, so, I have access to all the Audis here, so just let me know. Have a good day.